Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on October the 23rd. To me, this is just a huge exhale, kind of a day of rest. We are again reminded this is a not a passive relationship. He leaves us with this free will. Where are we going to gaze today? Are we going to look toward the culture or are we going to look toward the kingdom? When we turn our gaze toward the kingdom, toward his peace, toward his presence, toward his light, then that is going to be this love bond that goes back and forth, this joy in me and me and he. And you guys, this was, um, it was earlier this year that I had realized this whole thing of not of this world, to be in this world, but not of this world. And that parallels with our Heavenly Father. He is in me, but not of me. He is in me, but he still allows my personality and this temporary tent to continue to age and gray and wrinkle and le learn through all of these life lessons but he is in us and he is within us then never going to leave us, never forsake us. But that parallel that he is within me and not of me, just as I am to be in this world, but not of this world. Am I going to be entangled and intertwined with him or with the culture? This is always our choice and the power of free will. Turn our attention, a very active engagement and a relationship. Turn Feel the light, the presence shining upon us, the heavenly smile of approval. When little kids look to their parents in the uh, kind of in the audience, in the stands, on the sidelines, whatever it is, and they just want that gaze of reassurance. And our heavenly Father says, "Look to me. Soak in the depths of all your of your being. Allow it fully fill and emanate that light right back out." The readings for today: the first one is Numbers chapter six, verse twenty-six. The Lord lift up his approving countenance upon you and give you peace, tranquility of heart and life continually. And I just, that, like having that additional definition, because we think of peace, you know, peace be with you. And we kind of think of peace as being, oh, let's just get these circumstances to be a little more settled and predictable. But he says, no, peace is tranquility of heart and life continually never ending. And that is that source of peace that goes beyond anything we can imagine. A peace he gives to you. Uh, is It's up to us, isn't it? To, and then open our hands to receive it. Put down our luggage, put down our baggage, take on his yoke and receive that peace. The next reading for today is John chapter 17 verses 20 through 23. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I am them and you in me. May they be brought to complete unity to let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Isn't that a beautiful prayer and a gift? We are not alone. We are never alone in our circumstances. And if we don't believe that others in this world that have walked this world are in it with us just know that our heavenly father is in us this is like in that unseen realm the miracles of faith i in you and you and me we are in them they are in us as a community we are one uh, and I like to say, we like to think in competitions that we need a winner. So someone W-O-N has won and can walk away. But you guys, truly, we are winners when we are O-N-E, when we are one in Christ. The final reading is Psalm chapter 116, sorry, Psalm chapter 16, verse 11. You will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And I'm just going to go real quickly into the quadrant living and acknowledge that living above the lifeline right now. This is where life is. This is the presence and fullness of joy. 
these are the pleasures forevermore. When we get entangled and intertwined and pulled down by the things of the culture, they're going to lead to doubt and fear. But we get to choose. Who's going to be my dance partner today? Who am I going to get all knotted up with? And my Heavenly Father says, choose me. Joy in me. Joy in you. Intertwined. Inseparable. I suffuse. Fully fill your soul with joy in my presence but I have to choose to be in his powerful presence by turning my attention, setting my intention, my attention toward him and the kingdom and the fruits of the spirit. So y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine, sometimes swinging, but always clinging, never letting go of his hand. Y'all have a blessed one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.